Hey guys, welcome back to the Wednesday news show. It's actually not Wednesday. We're gonna do oh, it. Right. We're doing it Tuesday. It's it's we're technically filming Happy on Monday. Happy Wednesday, Tuesday show. That doesn't make sense. So why are we doing this on Tuesday, Teresa? Because you're going on holiday. That's correct. I am out of here tomorrow. Uh, so we are filming this a little bit early, and we realized that if we put this out on Wednesday, it would start to feel old. Yeah, we it's not. Current. We're I mean, it's still news. Newish. New the newish. Aged. It was either the Wednesday newish show or the Tuesday new show. True. Okay. Yeah. But also, uh, we did decided to go back to the regular format of me, uh, us, just in the studio, pre-recorded. The live show was maybe a bit ambitious. We'll try again at some point, maybe yes, next week. Maybe. Anyway, what's the first story? First story is from the US and Ashima Shirashi sent a pretty special boulder. On her Instagram, Ashima Shirashi posted a video of her climbing Jade, a V14 or 8B+. Jade is known for the incredible flash sand of Adam Audra in 2015. And on that same day, he also repeated another 8B, Don't Get Too Greedy. And Ashima took one out of Andra's book, repeating on the same day, Riddles in the Park, an 8A+, Golden Rose of Flowers, an 8A, and Bloody Money Stand, a 7C+. So Shima is back, um, outdoor bouldering again. I mean, we've seen her on a calm scene. Sure. Um, but yeah, and fun fact about her, she climbed her first 8B boulder when she was just 10 years old. Interesting. And she's now what, 18? 21. 21. Do you think it's, I mean, this could be controversial, but do you think it's fair to say that people would have expected her to be at like World Cup winning level, like uh, consistently, like at kind of a young Yanya Gambrit level? She was kind of pinned for that quite early on, right? When she climbed yeah. 8B at 10, everybody yeah. was thinking, this is the next best thing. And I'm not saying that she's not the next best thing, but maybe she hasn't quite reached the heights that she will reach at some point. Yeah, but then is it fair to put that much pressure and like Absolutely calling not. her a prodigy? Totally not. I totally disagree with all of that, but I'm just wondering for sake of uh, discussion, <laughs> well, she, has, she, has, you know, has she fulfilled her potential yet? Or do you think there's more, a lot more to come from her? Uh, realistically, I yes. think that with her training and Josh training her, yeah, um, yeah we could see her do some line bees, right? Because everybody's like goes on about how Yanya Gambre, as soon as she gets out door, she's going to be like the best climber ever. Yeah, but then she hasn't done it yet. Exactly. So it's exactly. like we're waiting instead of Shima is giving us, you know, V14s. V14s, yeah. No, it's, it's hugely impressive. And it's good to see her back uh, climbing at that level. I'm, I'm very excited to see what she can do. Uh, in the next kind of coming years. Uh, speaking of absolutely nothing to do with the Shima Shirashi, but <laughs> our next story is from Switzerland. Belgian climber Sebastian Belt has climbed La Promesse de Laube, an 8C on the Cloche du Portelais. It was first bolted by Fred Moy, Jean L. Lugon, and Didier Berthaud, and this was the last line on the Portelais waiting to be climbed. The line follows a blocked crack where you can't place any gear, so it's been bolted. There is only one hard pitch of 8C and the rest are in the sixes. For anybody who's interested on the beta of the 8C, check out his Instagram post. So last week we kind of concentrated on CB Van Hey, although Sebastian Vat did do that route as well. But this week we're going to focus on Sebastian because he's climbed this uh, last climb on this face. Yeah, um, a lot of cracks. It has this uh, this portale. I was actually there last week, and uh, yeah. Jean Jean was there, uh, a guide and a friend of their, theirs. And uh, yeah, I don't know. The it looks like just best crack climbing in Europe. What? Does it look splitter? Uh, well, it, it was far away. And my eyesight is not that good. Um, but you not viewed binoculars. No, but flash and screen the roots and. Uh, yeah, we could go there filming. I've heard the beta for rigging it is 400 meter ropes. We don't have one of them. We have 50 meters. <laughs> That'd be sketchy. Uh, I'd rather have one big long one than have to change. Yeah, but can the... you imagine jogging up 400 meters? Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good for your fitness. Oh, uh, I that'd guess. Be like something out of our cap. I think that's like, so it sounds like um, Belgian climbers are good crack climbers. Um, Nico Favres. Yes. Sean Villeneuve or just go? I think they're good on, on multi pitches though. Like yeah. they don't go for the easy crag thing. You know, they go out on an adventure. So the like quite often you hear about the wide boys taking on the cracks, mm. but a lot of the time 
Well, not a lot of the time, and that's 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 not that's not exactly true. But some of the time, so for example, recovery drink in uh, Norway, there was a big thing about the white boys doing that. That was initially done, I think, by Nico Favre. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So there's something in Belgium that they're making that is not allowing them to get in those cracks well, and stay there. Maybe it's like they have a super secret cellar. Yeah, they don't. They don't put on YouTube. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, right. What's next? All right. Next, uh, we have another multi-pitch story. This time from Greenland. Matteo della Bordella, Silvan Schubach, and Simon Belfringer, during a 20-day expedition in Greenland, they climbed a new route called Forum. The approach was peculiar. They kayaked for five days for a total of 170 kilometers. And then they put up this route, 840 meters long, and the max grade is 7C. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, kayaking, I guess it's a good shoulder warm up. There's True. a lot of, uh, I don't All know, rotator power. calf action. I, I don't know, shoulder parts. Well, exactly. Like keeping the legs rested. Yeah. You, yeah. See, like, you see like, a lot of canoers, they're like, they've got these massive upper bodies and tiny little legs. Kind of like climbers. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying that now climbers have to like kayak for approaches. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I think so. Just to warm up. I mean, they don't have to train anymore. They just get in the kayak. That is, that is a and good And maybe point. have some kind of contraption where it's like just the fingers powering them with the canoe. Ooh, yeah. like a fingerboard canoe kayak paddle. <laughs> yeah, well, if somebody exactly. wants to make it, there you go. <laughs> send it. There's a market for it. Um, uh, but no, seriously impressive ascent. Like that's amazing anything, anything anybody does anything in greenland normally but 25 days i mean it's a long time it's a long time but then greenland you know because of global warming and stuff uh it's getting warmer so it's probably not that tough one of an expedition anymore yeah true true Le a lot less snow um yeah. okay anyway next up we've got some news of hard bouldering in america Andy Lamb has climbed his first 8c plus creature from the black lagoon in the rocky mountain national park the problem was first put up by Daniel Woods in 2016 and it's his third repeat. Andy was actually trying Blade Runner, an 8C right next to Creature, and about this end he said that it was a bit unexpected since when warming up, the holes felt hot. Andy Lamb, who uh, I've kind of heard in and about, he kind of hangs out with, um, who does he hang out with? I got no idea. I've heard of him in and about, he's kind of, he's, he's strong. Okay. He's strong. Has he sent through some videos? No, but Andy, if you're watching, could you send through some videos, please? That'd be great. We'd, uh, we'd, we'd we'll push you, we'll push you up. Uh, that's it for the news. Besides that, uh, Epic TV athlete, yes. uh, Beatrice Colli, uh, she's youth world speed champion. Yes. So and she's this is, speedy. She's very speedy. Uh, and this is particularly poignant because uh, we've done a series with her. And in the first episode of that series, she said this. Mi intenzione di, di vincere i mondiali quest'anno se, se le condizioni permettono ovviamente. So she prophesized that one pretty well. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd, I'd be too scared to jinx it, but I guess. She's a confident sure. uh, young lady. Yeah. Who knows what she wants. I dig it. Yeah. yeah. And she's gone out and got it. It's true. And uh, with uh, 7.92 seconds. So that's pretty quick. Is that a record? But then, no, because they cannot do a record because uh, the wall isn't... Um, uh, it's not Olympic standard. Yeah, that one. Um, but she has got the Italian uh, speed run climbing record. For our age group. It's a very specific record. I thought she no, had is it an Italian? Italian? Think, it's a women Italian one and the then it's age Italian group one. world one. Yeah, that one. Yes. Too many records, Bea. There you go. Lots of, lots of records. <laughs> uh, that's great. Congratulations, Bea, if you're watching. Uh, if, you, if you don't know who Bea is, a great way to find out is to watch the series that we did with her. Uh, oh, we're still doing with her. Yeah, links down below. Yeah, she's done three episodes. She's got one more to go, and the next one will probably feature something of that. That what she just did. Nice. Anyway, nine B counter. So Andy Lamb gets one point, and um, so we're kind of missing the counters because David Why? went M I A. A wall. Is it A wall? Well, it's both, I think. David, if you're watching this, hi. Can hi. We, Andy, Andy, if you're watching this, hi. David, okay. give us information. Give we us need, the tables. We need the tables. We, we need, need you, David. David? See, Where is David? David Gary. Uh, I think he's from Utah. All right, okay. If, if you know David and you see him on Instagram at all, ever, or, or YouTube, give him a nudge. 
We need in. Shop stuff. And we've got Epic TV branded chalk. Yeah. We haven't tried it yet. Uh, no, but I already like the packaging. All yeah. black. Black and white and red. Nice. Nice design theme. Pure Thanks. magnesium carbonate, Epic TV shop. Premium chalk made from the highest quality magnesium carbonate. I've got here premium liquid chalk made from the highest oats. The same thing. Highest oats. <laughs> <laughs> it's made from oats. Speaking of stuff in the shop as well, we've got a Patagonia restock. Well, it's all brand new clothing. Yes. Isn't it? And I've found the men's Storm Racer jacket, which uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm very excited about it. It's like got funky zips. It packs away nicely. It's got a hood uh, and it looks like it's fun for a day out in the mountains. For a day out at the crag, I saw the Patagonia mini tote. And I guess you just imagine putting, you know, like uh, climbing shoes in the mini tote. Hopefully what it's not. What is a mini tote? Ah, oh, like a little bag. The... Yeah, it's like, like a, a tote bag, bag. then mini. And if you want to go shopping afterwards for some groceries, you can, uh, you can stick some carrots in there. Yes, because uh, <laughs> Alex Magus wears a lot of Patagonia shorts. That is going to go quick, by the way. Patagonia, the, the, re the restock is going to go fast. There's a lot of cool uh, Patagonia stuff. Patagonia rucksack. Ooh, Altiva pack. 36 liters. That looks nice. Uh, yeah, so get your stuff super quick there because it's going to go like that. We shouldn't even really talk about it because it's going to go so fast. Ooh, yeah, probably. Everything is going to be sold out by the time this video is out. Plus, as always, there's we've got a destock house. We've got a summer sale, sale. Summer sale. It's still going on, but there's like limited stuff left. So if you want to get a bargain, there's still a chance, but your, your size isn't guaranteed. Or grow into the size. That's what, what my parents so just, keep telling me. What, just get fatter? Well, you know... Well, yeah, bulk up bulk and creatine. Up, bulk up. Creatine. Take some, take some weight gain. But that only works for. Uh, <laughs> that only works for jackets, because in because climbers you cannot really you know bulk up the legs that much. Yeah, but if you got like a shell and you got like a puffer underneath it, mm. like an insulated jacket, you just get more clothes. You just get more clothes. The more clothes you get, the bigger the sizes you can get. You can't really go the other way though. Well. Lose weight. No, that's not healthy. Nah. All right, next up, we got some, it's media. What's in the media this week? Epic TV media. So tomorrow on Wednesday, there's a new Epic TV climbing daily shoot with uh, Sebois. Sounds nightmare. If it depends on many things. First is the style of the route, if it fits you or not. And then your shape and then the conditions and then the time you are walking on. If I have only two days, like now, it's a bit uh, a game changing if you have good conditions or not, because you are not so clear on the route and you are still making some mistakes. You have many, many factors who make the sun or the fail. Seb, what a legend. Uh, we've got, we've got the vintage, vintage Rock Tour coming up next, the week after next as well. Oh, about? the week after this one. His yeah. new 9C, because he's trying two 9Cs at the moment. <clears throat> it's not that one, it's, you know, the vintage rock tour where he goes around like climbing classic oh, crags. Right. Yeah. So it's one of them. So it's, it's the six in the in the series, okay. uh, they're very popular. A teaser will be coming for that next week, so stay tuned. But in the meantime, we've got the next episode of the Japanese Climbing Stories. Uh, here is a tiny little clip just to salivate your taste glands a little bit. <laughs> ね、ギアを落としそうなくらいに。そう。これ、体が開けられないっていう。いや、本当よく頑張りました。頑張ってくれて。2人で身を寄せ合いな。寒い。寒い。寒い。寒い。寒い。寒い。寒い。寒い。
I would like, <laughs> my wife would wear the suit and I would, I'd wear the dress from Arcteryx. Uh, they Absolutely. have the harness built around as a belt. So, hey. All right, yeah, that's cool. So you can just take your harness and turn it around. Speaking of Arcteryx, I'm going to segue out of that one. Thanks. I think we needed it. Uh, Arcteryx have got, in the next week, the Arcteryx Climbing Academy in Squamish. Uh, it is not only in person, it's also online. Uh, so you, if you can't make it to Squamish, you can register online at thearcteryxacademy.com uh, where you can, we'll put the links in the description below if I've got that wrong, but you can go and register, register. There's a whole bunch of clinics online at the same time as clinics in person. If you're lucky enough to be in Squamish, uh, which is near Whistler in BC, Canada, then you can go uh, and take part in what will be an amazing event, I would imagine. Are you imagining I, I it? I would hope, I'm imagining it now. <laughs> It's amazing. Yep, it's good. It's worth it. Go. We should go next year. Yeah, big time. <clears throat> I've been trying. <laughs> Ideas. I've been trying you know? to get an invite for the last five years. Trust oh, me. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's just not um, But about <clears throat> like other brand news, have you seen yes. that uh, Black Diamond came out with like an eco chalk? I did. Yes, Alex Honnold was modeling it in his in, on an Instagram post. Yeah, so it's recycled and made from the desalination process. Yes. And the packaging is 100% compostable and um, Alex Honnold is promoting it and some of the proceeds go to the Honnold Foundation. Very cool. Very, really, really very cool. cool from BD. Yeah, but this is this this brand talk is a suggestion from one of our uh, viewers the other week yeah so um, that's a possible comment of the week thanks very much for the ideas we like ideas because we kind of run out of them every now and then as you can imagine we're on the same format which you like we're trying to like always reinvent it but you know the more ideas you can get we sometimes it goes wrong like last week when we do a live mm. yeah but we'll keep trying and reinventing and reinventing ourselves oh we'll try it we'll try it. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna maybe i'll wear a wedding time. dress one of these days okay. if arcteryx design it and give it to me they, they have done if Fashion they give screen. it to me, okay, then that's fine. So the one stage is done, they just need to give it to me and I'll wear it <laughs> on a new show. Please send it. <laughs> right, uh, one more thing. You got one more on the brand news. Do I? Olympic. Oh, right, I do. Uh, so on the Olympic channel on YouTube, uh, they released the men's final. Yeah. Um, I guess we're still waiting for the women's one, but watch the men's final if you haven't. And- um, Who's commentating? Do you know? Men and women. Somebody good? You said they were quite good. I said it, yes, they were quite good. Uh, they said a couple of funny things, uh, but I'm pretty sure they did their research pretty well. So I was happy to hear that. Do they, do they sound like climbers? I, I'm not gonna, this is, gonna <laughs> this is going on the internet. <laughs> we just, might get in trouble from the Olympics. We might. We said the word Olympics. Um, but hey, you can always turn down the official commentary and the sync, and it, sync with it, ours. it up with us again. Just we a were, suggestion. We were showing the clock. Um, what are we doing this weekend? Just quickly, I'm gonna drop this in. Not next this weekend, next weekend. Let's push it. Oh, we are going on a trip. To? Italy. Exactly. To Frassassi. What is Frassassi? Frassassi is in Abruzzo. Nice. Is it in Abruzzo or Le Marche? Let's hope so. Oh, I'll get some stuff from the Italians. Anyway, it's the Frassassi Climbing Festival next week. So we are gonna be going, talking of live, we're gonna try and go live from there a little mm. bit, have a little live stream. Um, so if you're around in the area, if you, are in Italy, or if you want to take the risk and there's a plane going over, but it doesn't matter. Uh, flying over, if you want to fly over, just, it's not that risky. No. If you're vaccinated, it's fine. There's trains, boats, you know, just get there and sign up to the event. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll be there all week. And there are a couple of fun things. Yeah, big um, time. If you want to check out what they are, go check, go to our Instagram and check out a whole series of videos that we've done. They're on our reels. Uh, you'll see them for Sassy Climbing Festival. For real. For, re for real. Uh, right, last up, comment of the week. Have you got one? I haven't. You haven't got one? Have you got one? Can you fill some time while I get one? Uh, sure. So what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> what am I doing this weekend? Uh, I'm actually about to head off to, well, it's like, it's Monday. We're recording some Monday for a show on Tuesday, but I'm actually heading to watch the cricket in England. Do you know what cricket is, Teresa? Uh, it's a thing they play in India. Exactly, and we're watching England versus India. I've oh, spoken really? about this before, no? No. Last year I spoke about it. I was going to go and watch it. I am now at the point where I am uh, going to go and watch it. Are you a cricket fan? I don't I'm know, a no? massive, massive cricket head. Yes. Do you play cricket? I used to play cricket when I was younger. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's 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 the greatest sport in the world ever, other than climbing. climbing. But what's a bat called? It's called a bat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it has a special shame. Um, okay, so last week, comment of the week, 
we got, we got you to uh, comment. Well, we asked you what you thought. Basically, most of your comments are about how the new the live show was a bit rubbish, but you kind you kind of liked it. Oh yeah. Uh, so sound levels were a big thing. Um, let's just quickly uh, uh, just rectify something. Whoa, climbing, not wow climbing. Commented and said, appreciate the shout out. Lincoln Lake is actually in Colorado though. So that was my research. I'm sorry about that. I said it was in Arkansas. <laughs> Uh, so I should like pay more attention, um, but yeah, it's not whoa climbing. It's wow. wow. It's not wow climbing. It's whoa climbing. There you Is go. The, okay. Thanks uh, for the clarification. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, wow. Um, what do you say, guys? Whoa or wow? Um, well, I think it's wow. Whoa. I think it's it's whoa. whoa. It's whoa. Have you got any comment of the week? No, I think they're, no. all, they're all about sound. Um, comment this week and something funny, please, because I really like reading funny comments. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you next week, probably with a live show. Maybe, I'm not gonna commit to it. Okay, maybe. We're not sure. This, this one could go down really well. People could be like, Let's just stick to this. Mm. So okay. In this case. Anyway. Anyway, have a great week. Bye. Have a chalky weekend.